Hello, I am Gregory the Poor Typist, and I have a typewriter related video for you here. Yes, <laughs> long overdue. So this has made its way onto my desk after I got rid of the Royal 440, which is very similar, another standard. Um, and perhaps cosmetically in better condition but this one just looks nicer. You have the the textured uh, backsplash here, if you will. <laughs> the textured plate there on the front behind the keys. Um, it, it That goes a long way to making this look better, even though it's a very, very drab gray typewriter. But this is the Royal FP from 1958 and yeah it's like just a typewriter that works well and you could probably drive this thing into the ground just typing all day long so um, of course you have the, the push button uh, ribbon cover release there it's so it it's a little finicky. Uh, you have your ribbon selector here. Um, you have your tabs, which I never ever use tabs. You have your uh, magic margins here. Yeah, it's it has everything you need. It has the the end of page guide here, which also I never use. Uh, I should probably figure out how to use that. <laughs> I understand the concept, but it's just something I've I've never used. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, yeah, here it is in all of its glory. Uh, let's just do a little bit of typing. I don't know if you heard that, but that <laughs> it has a dinky, dinky little bell. <laughs> Yeah, so, and I do have a couple backing sheets because it does have a very hard platen. There's the print quality there. Very, very nice. Um, I'm so pleased with it. Yeah, so I just started with uh, the Quick Brown Fox then we we went to the now's the time for all good men and then i like to do this is a test of the emergency broadcast system this is only a test <laughs> yeah anyway um you know just a, a a sort of quick and dirty video here uh just showing what is center stage on my desk right now the royal fp uh it could use a good cleaning but you know what it works great and no complaints. I think occasionally, just occasionally, when I do the carriage return, it sometimes peaks just one character past the, the margin. Um, yeah. And I do actually have the typewriter repair bible for the, the Royal Standards, the FP 440 and I think 470 course available from the typewriter database uh, or on uh, lulu.com uh, to search for typewriter bible it should come up yeah but yeah that's that's basically it um, I mean no real frills here <laughs> um, oh occasionally as I'm typing and I I haven't figured out if it's if it's me or the machine <laughs> but occasionally 
I, I think, because I type like this, so occasionally I think I brush against the button there and the lid pops up. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. It could also be just general vibrations popping it up. So the, the little hook there probably needs an adjustment or maybe the, the little, the little catch there. Um, for, you know, <laughs> I'm sure that's the proper terminology, but obviously the hook has to catch on something. So we'll call it the little catch, um, underneath there. Um, but yeah, uh, very pleased that it's, it works. Um, and I think this might be, um, one typewriter that I do send the platen off to JJ short. Um, it, it, I mean, you could just feel the texture on there. Um, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, and of course, pretty darn hard as well. Uh, another thing I would like to do, um, I don't know if you can, how well you can see it, but there's a fair amount of rust on here. So I want to try and clean that up at least a little bit. Um, if it doesn't come off, I'm not too worried because again, I like these machines for what they do rather than how they look necessarily. <laughs> of course, at the beginning, I was talking about how this looks nicer than the, <laughs> the Royal 440, but you know, I mean, you have to care about it a little bit, right? <laughs> you want a machine to um, at least inspire you a little bit. This will probably be the one that I do uh, take the, the platen out and um, send it to, let's see, let me see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> Oh yes. Yeah. See, <laughs> that, that's basically it. Uh, and then I would need to take off the knob there, but yeah, it's now getting it in is the next thing. Okay. There we go. I didn't have it, uh, seated properly, uh, seated all the way over here. So that, um, that's why I was having difficulties there. <laughs> and again, this is one reason I don't do repairs myself. Um, <laughs> But fortunately, this doesn't need any repairs. Um, I will be able to easily take off the platen, send it off to JJ Short. Um, the other rollers seem pretty okay. This one doesn't feel completely round, so I probably could send these off as well. Um, this one isn't too bad. It grips all the way around, but this one yeah, <laughs> that could do some work. And I haven't even checked the the feed rollers underneath. But there you go. Um, the Royal FP from 1958. Uh, this is one of the later typewriters in my collection. I originally had the Royal FP Wide Carriage. I don't remember what year that one was, but uh, yeah. I decided I didn't need a wide carriage, so I give that one to Bob Marshall from Typewriter Muse. I also gave him the Royal 440, um, and I, I had procured this um, so, some some time back, but it's one of the more recent typewriters in my collection, within the last several months anyway. So there you go. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad to finally have another typewriter video for you here. <laughs> uh, it's like my channel has become all about fountain pens, um, but that is kind of an obsession for me right now. So, but we're gonna start doing uh, the typewriter videos again. And of course, it's time to put this typewriter to bed. With the typewriter muse typewriter cover. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.